The next member statement, the member for Scarborough Guildwood. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today, May 18th, marks the 12th anniversary of the Muli Vikan genocide. This is a day when Tamils in Canada and around the world will join together in remembering the end of the 25-year-long civil war that claimed the lives of thousands of innocent, innocent civilians on both sides. As Tamils commemorate those who were lost, it is also important to acknowledge the process of rebuilding, which is ongoing today. Today I also um, reflects on the pain and the suffering of this atrocity. It is also apparent that significant steps have been taken towards the preservation and expansion of the cultural heritage of Tamil people, including here in Ontario. In this House, we unanimously passed the member of Scarborough Rouge Park's Bill 104, which dedicates a week of educating about genocides so we never repeat them. Notably, a campaign to establish a chair in Tamil studies at the University of Toronto Scarborough, the first of its kind in Canada, has reached its three million philanthropic goal. More than 3,800 donors contributed to the grassroots campaign, which was spearheaded by the Canadian Tamil Congress and Tamil Chair Inc. in 2018. Tamil is among the world's seven classical languages, and it reflects a rich cultural heritage that spans more than 2,000 years. The east part of Toronto is home to the largest concentration of Tamil people outside of the Indian subcontinent. I'm inspired by the strong ties of kinship shared between members of the Tamil Canadian community and the dedication Tamils show to improving the lives of their neighbours. As a member of Provincial Parliament for Scarborough Guildwood, I truly appreciate the strength and perseverance of the Tamil Canadian communities across Ontario, and I stand here and join with all of you in wishing them a peaceful and prosperous future.